my dad's make it hurt. Good evening and welcome to the broadcast of our 43rd annual Golden Hawk Awards ceremony. My name is Casey Nguyen and I'm this year's ASB president. First, I would like to start off by congratulating my fellow classmates and all Golden Hawk nominees. Though we continue to adapt to the ever-changing climate of the world, we have all shown perseverance, determination, and tenacity. Win or lose, we should all be very proud of ourselves. This nomination is an honor in itself. Without further ado, I would like to introduce our hosts, Ms. Brenda McDonough and Mr. Tim Walsh. Welcome, and thank you to all who have tuned in to the 43rd Annual Golden Hawk Awards Ceremony. Tonight, we will honor those students who have distinguished themselves from their classmates with exceptional achievements. Each of tonight's honorees has worked hard at Ocean View to uphold our proud tradition of academic excellence. Mr. Walsh is right. Their achievements have been exceptional. In fact, only the top 10% of our 1,400 students have the distinct honor of being nominated for this prestigious award. Tonight's honorees have been chosen from 16 areas by a faculty of over 60 teachers. And although 25 of our finest students will go home tonight with medallions, we are enormously proud of everyone who worked so hard for their nomination. Before we meet tonight's honorees, we'd like to introduce the principal of Ocean View High School, Dr. Robert Rasmussen. Good evening, Seahawks. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy this presentation. I'm so excited to honor our Golden Hawk nominees, our finalists, and our recipients. Every one of you has put, it, put in so much time, effort, and passion into our school, and you deserve this moment to shine. Every student recognized has been a standout in one of several of their classes. They caught the eye of their teachers in some way. Our nominees are students of character, determination, perseverance, and passion. You all have shown us how you love sharing new ideas, caring for each other, and work for a better world. You should all feel proud of what you have accomplished. As I was thinking of what I was going to say this evening, I kept thinking about what the word golden means. The word came to mind uh, including bright, brilliant, excellent, flourishing, successful, valuable, and promising. These words can be used to describe all of these students. But there's one word that stood out to me the most of all, and that was the word promising. When I look at all these candidates, I see a promising future ahead of them and for us. These students exemplify what it means to be a Golden Hawk candidate and a Seahawk. We are all very proud of you, each and every one of you. Thank you, nominees, for your hard work and dedication. You are role models for all the other students. As a parent, I can only hope that my own children are able to achieve even half of what you have done. As your principal, I am in awe of what you have accomplished and I look forward to all the things you will do in your lives. Thank you, Dr. Rasmussen. Now, let's reflect back to when tonight's honorees were children. That's right, Brenda. This moment in time came because of thousands of earlier moments in time. Moments when these students were cuddled by you and they were encouraged by you and, and loved by you. You fostered their determination, their imagination, and their vision to see what they could become. And you should be very proud. Now let's get to it. Let's present this year's super talented Golden Hawk honorees. We'll start with the boys and girls athletics. She has two awards to present, one for boys and one for girls. And the honorees for boys athletics are Nicholas Chumacero, Diego Gonzalez, Michael Hernandez, Caleb Homan, James Legg, Slater Miller, Christopher Schmitz, Alan Servan, Kenny Tran, Parker Walpole. The three finalists in the area of boys athletics are Caleb Homan, Slater Miller, Parker Walpole. And the Golden Hawk winner is Parker Walpole. Hello, I'm Coach Nahera, and on behalf of varsity cross country, soccer, track and field, tennis, and even freshman baseball, I would like to congratulate Parker Walpole for being this year's Golden Hawk Student Athlete of the Year. 
I can talk all day about the fact that Parker helped us win league championships and helped us make it to two state championship finals in cross country, or how he has a 5.2 GPA and plans to attend Berkeley, but I wanna make sure that I highlight the fact that Parker is not only a great and fierce athlete, but an even better human being, leader, and role model. I will always remember when Coach Daniel used to joke with Parker to cut back on his ice cream consumption as a freshman and how together they formed a bond that has brought so much success and happiness to our athletic programs. Above all, I will always remember the way Parker pushed his teammates to excellence, advocated for them when they needed help, and modeled what it means to have a strong work ethic and care for others. Parker, thank you for bringing out the best in all of us, for being a shining example of what it means to be a Seahawk and always having a great attitude. We love you and your family. Congratulations, let's go. <laughs> and now presenting the honorees for girls athletics. The honorees for girls athletics are Desiree Arismendi, Emma Beard, Bella Cayazzo, Angelina Franzetti, Ariana Henke, Elizabeth King, Kate Marsh, Isabella Messina, Natalie Miller, and Caitlin Taylor. The three finalists in the area of girls athletics are Bella Cayazzo, Angelita Franzetti, and Ariana Henke. And the Golden Hawk winner is Ariana Henke. Hi there, my name is Jeff Rizecki and I'm the girls golf coach here at Ocean View High School. Today I have the honor of presenting Miss Ariana Henke with our Golden Hawk Award. Ariana's been on our golf team for four years. Uh, she's also played softball here at Ocean View for four years. Um, in addition to those sports, she's been on ASB, she's done yearbook, um, she's maintained a 4.42 GPA, and she even has some time to commit to working at her local church. Um, she also just started a job, so she's got a very full plate. Um, some of the awards that Ariana's won, um, in softball she's been the best offensive hitter for the team. Um, she's a member of the first team CIF. Um, and then has been a captain for two years. Um, in golf, she's been our Rookie of the Year as a freshman. Um, she's participated in CIF. Uh, she's been our co-captain. And then this year, she's our captain. Um, in addition to that, she's been recognized by the Orange County Athletic Directors Association um, by receiving the Student Athlete Award. Um, she's very well-rounded. Some of her interests outside of school include spending time with her family and friends. Uh, she loves her dog. Um, she enjoys going to the beach. Um, she's done a really good job coming up with icebreakers for our golf practice. Um, and she absolutely loves her, her wagon, her VW wagon. Um, throughout her career at Ocean View, she wanted to shout out to Mrs. Privet, Miss Privet. Ari said, you've been there for her all four years. You've helped me grow into the person that she is. Um, having you as a teacher and then helping plan prom and run Senate. You've always been there when she needed to talk to somebody um, to cheer her on and then support her in her accomplishments. Um, I'm super happy to present this award to you, Ari. Um, you've been one of my favorite athletes to work with ever. Um, I'm really gonna miss you. And hopefully, good luck at Cal State Fullerton. Hopefully, kinesiology works out. Um, but you will be very, very much missed here at Ocean View High School. Thanks, Ari, congratulations. And now the honorees for AVID. The honorees for AVID are Julissa Boutron, Vanessa Calderon, Lexi Dutton, Justin Flores, Min Liu. The three finalists in AVID are Julissa Boutron, Vanessa Calderon, Min Liu. And the Golden Hawk winner is Vanessa Calderon. Vanessa Calderon is the AVID Golden 2021 winner because she is an exemplary AVID student, determined, ambitious, supportive, and driven to succeed. While it was incredibly difficult to decide which senior won this honor because our other Golden Hawk nominees are also amazing, inspiring young people, Vanessa has never wavered in pursuing academic rigor and excellence of character. 
During her four years as a student at OV, Vanessa has grown through her involvement in AVID, basketball, and IB classes. She won the Captain's Award as well as Most Motivational Player in Basketball and is a repeat winner of AVID Student of the Month. Vanessa is still deciding between OCC and Cal State LA for the fall, but she plans to major in film and become a film producer. Vanessa enjoys cooking, playing basketball, hiking, and baking on the off chance that she does not have homework. She cites her parents as two people who have supported her the most and will tell you that as immigrants, they have worked incredibly hard to give her a good life and have enthusiastically supported her endeavors to pursue a college education. I can attest to the fact that Vanessa has kept her priorities straight even throughout COVID and worked tirelessly to maintain a 4.3 GPA as well as apply to colleges and scholarships during our time this year. She's taken two to three honors and AP classes each year and strives to maintain A's each semester. She's also kind, bubbly, friendly to others. She's the student who sits in class listening to everything said, completely thoughtful, producing intelligent work, raising her hand every time there's a call to, for volunteers or to help others. She never complains and she always perseveres. She's overcome obstacles and shown that she's an incredibly capable, independent young woman and we are proud to name her as the AVID Golden Hawk winner. Congratulations, Vanessa. And now the honorees for Business Academy. The honorees are Caitlin Conklin, Elaine Krogan, Jaden Driggs, Christina Ho, Devin Minnie, Lisbeth Peralta, Yannette Perez, Owen Sedaris, Angelina Solis, and Amarani Tlatelpa. The three finalists in Business Academy are Caitlin Conklin, Elaine Krogan, Jaden Driggs. And the Golden Hawk Award for Business Information Systems goes to Caitlin Conklin. The expression that says, if you want to get something done, give it to a busy person certainly applies to Caitlin. She is a doer and problem solver. She is efficient, responsible, and she does this with a positive attitude and a smile that she brings with her every day. Last fall, as the Business Academy was looking for a way to connect with our students during online learning, the idea of the Business Academy video announcements was hatched. Caitlin volunteered to edit, direct, and produce the BAVAs. And with over 30 Business Academy video announcements in the fold, Caitlin has exceeded all expectations. Every video was always ready to go on Thursday, and this meant long hours every Wednesday night and putting together the video to show the next day. And meeting this deadline on top of dealing with Mr. Volo's weekly antics was truly, truly amazing. As a leader in the Business Academy, Caitlin has a great ability to lift others up and make them feel important. Caitlin is excellent at delegating responsibilities to others. And once she delegates, Caitlin is very good at following up without being intrusive. She lets others learn and is there to help if they need it. She willingly steps up and admits when she has made a mistake. And I have never heard her be critical of others in public. She is humble yet assertive when needed. And she has a great ability to elevate others. Caitlin's strong work ethic, outstanding academic achievement, calm demeanor, exceptional kindness, and inspiring character really stand out and strongly validate her as the Business Academy Golden Hawk recipient this year. When asked to name the people who have contributed most to her success, Caitlin proudly mentions Mr. Volo and myself who have guided her and provided so many opportunities during her first two years in the Business Academy. Without them, she says, I would not be the person I am today. And Mr. Volo and I can truly say that Caitlin has made a tremendous impact on both of us as well. Caitlin, on behalf of the Business Academy, staff and students, I would like to thank you for your inspiring leadership and for setting a high standard of character and honor. You have truly, truly made a great impact on our program this year. Caitlin, on behalf of the Business Academy, staff and students, I would like to thank you for your inspiring leadership and setting a high standard of character and honor in our Business Academy program. You have truly made a great impact that will be remembered for years ahead. And 
I can't wait to see what happens next year. Ocean View's Fine Arts Department presents three awards. These Golden Hawks are in the area of Fine Arts Visual, Performing Arts Vocal, and Performing Arts Instrumental. The honorees for Fine Arts Visual are Natalie Carlson, Mia Chumpatazzi, Matthew French, Caitlin Loom, Kylie Watson. The three finalists in the area of visual arts are Natalie Carlson, Matthew French, Caitlin Loom. And the Golden Hawk winner is Caitlin Loom. Hi, my name is Shane Browski and I'm the ceramics teacher here at Ocean View. It is my pleasure to talk to you tonight about our 2021 Golden Hawk Awards winner in fine arts, Caitlin Loom. First, I'd like to congratulate all the nominees in the fine arts department. These awards are never easy to decide on and this year was no exception. All the nominees are incredible artists with bright futures in the field of fine arts. Congratulations to you all. Now let's talk about Caitlin and her artwork. It would be unfair to describe Caitlin solely as talented. It is clear she has a gift for sculpting and an eye for aesthetics, but that is not her greatest attribute when it comes to the arts. Above all qualities, I feel Caitlin possesses the single most trait that anyone, most important trait that anyone can have, and not just in the arts, but in life. Caitlin, in her four years as a Seahawk, has relentlessly demonstrated that she is persistent. She is a model of persistence, continuously showing time and time again that she could plan, build, and fully execute a project to the end with the highest uh, quality of craftsmanship and the utmost attention to detail. Now mix that in with what we call talent, and you have a very gifted and special artist in Caitlin. It's no wonder that she has repeatedly displayed her skills in ceramics over the last two years, as she accepted, has been accepted into the honors program at Cal State Long Beach as an electrical engineering major. She's been accepted into their honors program in search of an internship with Boeing or Lockheed Martin. Her engineering mindset, though, is easy to see on display when she's planning a project, and her attention to detail in her finished artwork far exceeds each project's requirements. She clearly goes above and beyond what is expected of her uh, in everything she does, and again, it's her persistence that carries her through and sets her apart from the others. Along with this year's Golden Hawk Award winner, being the, the Golden Hawk Award winner for this year uh, in visual arts, she's also the school's December Student of the Month, was awarded the Best Individual Presentation for Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, received the Doyle Merit Scholarship, and of course, took home one of the top awards in this year's district art show, beating out hundreds of students from the other schools in our district. To top it off, She's been on the school's tennis team for four years and is currently the captain of the team. Uh, she credits her mom's support and encouragement for the drive she displays in school, and it's easy to see that her mix of creativity, talent, and persistence will take Caitlin to great places in life. Congratulations, Caitlin Loom, 2021 Golden Hawk Award winner in Fine Arts. The, the honorees for Performing Arts Vocal are Elizabeth Burroughs, Scarlett Christ, Linnea Hoodman, Gilda Sattler, and Kylie Watson. The three finalists in the area of performing arts vocal are Elizabeth Burroughs, Linnea Hoodman, and Kylie Watson. And the Golden Hawk winner for performing arts vocal is Kylie Watson. Kylie Watson, known to the choir simply as Kai, has a natural ability to brighten up a classroom with her wry smile and sarcastic wit. I don't think any student of mine rolls their eyes quite so hard at my jokes, but it's okay because I know she's laughing on the inside. <laughs> Her laughter and energy are contagious, spreading infectiously to the other students, and they're just the thing that every teacher hopes for in their classroom. Such was not always the case, though, as she and I butted heads her freshman year. Thankfully, Kai had the confidence to be open and honest when I confronted her, and in the process, I learned from her ways that I could better listen to and acknowledge the other choir students so that they felt understood and knew that their voices were heard. Kai brings that same confidence and growth mindset to the rehearsal setting. She is always striving to become better and never afraid to admit, Mr. Combs, I'm not hearing that note right. Can we go over it again? It is her willingness to acknowledge her areas of weakness and her eagerness to transform them into strengths that make me certain she will reach success in whatever she endeavors. And music is not the only world to have been graced by Kai's playful smile and unending determination. 
Ever the creative artist, she also enjoys painting, woodworking, and sculpting both polymer and ceramics, and she has received multiple awards for her artistic creations. After graduating, Kai plans to study art in college, and she had better keep on singing. Kai, you are an extraordinary young woman whose impact on this world has only just begun. And I know that those lucky enough to experience the next part of your journey will find themselves as we have, better because of you. The finalists in the area of performing arts instrumental are Faith Bell Flores Andrade, Zachary McNeil, Andrew Ruiz, Jarrett Spurlock, and Alexander Valdivia. The finalists in the area of performing arts instrumental are Faith Bell Flores Andrade, Zachary McNeil, Jarrett Spurlock. And the Golden Hawk winner for performing arts instrumental is Jarrett Spurlock. If you're looking for the rhythm of successful leadership, you'll find it beating strong and steady in the chest of this instrumental Golden Hawk. It is the beat of a servant's heart, and Jarrett's is as pure as gold. He is by far one of the most encouraging and playful members of Ocean View's instrumental music program. He bolsters the newbie, exhorts the veteran, and befriends the loner, all while keeping things light and good-natured, even if at times a bit mischievous. He does it all without any thought of the praise or recognition it might bring. But recognition is inevitable when your character, dedication, and work ethic are as strong as Jarrett's. In addition to performing in the marching band, drumline, jazz band, and concert band throughout his tenure at Ocean View, he has also been selected to play in the Huntington Beach Union High School District Honor Band, and he is a two-time state band champion, having helped lead our band to their most recent victory from his position as drum captain, the highest position of leadership in our award-winning drumline. Jarrett's talents, however, aren't limited to music alone. His academic acumen is so exceptional that he is being honored as a Golden Hawk nominee in five different categories this evening. And as impressive as that is, it's not at all surprising when you consider that he currently holds a 4.75 grade point average. When asked about the person who most contributed to his success, Jarrett named his mom Debbie who is hardworking and kind and adept at making the best of difficult and trying situations. He said that her personality and determination inspires him to live up to all the love and energy that she's poured into him. Jarrett, I think I can speak for your mom, as well as the entire faculty, student body, and Ocean View community when I say that you are an inspiration to us all. The Social Science Department presents awards in two categories, American Studies and World Studies. The honorees in American Studies are Dana Abaskal, Claire Dickens, Gavin Kells, Benjamin Linza, Caitlin Loom, Jessica Ling, Ethan Mayfield, Christine Nguyen, Thais Ortega, Reagan Preciado, Lucy Torres, and Parker Walpole. The four finalists in the area of American Studies are Caitlin Loom, Jessica Ling, Christine Nguyen, and Thais Ortega. And the Golden Hawk winner is Caitlin Loom. Caitlin Loom is a woman of many talents. While her plan is to study electrical engineering in the honors program at Cal State Long Beach, Caitlin is a fierce debater and excellent writer in her IB history courses. She plays tennis, where she is team captain, a four-year varsity player, and currently the number one singles player. Caitlin is also a talented artist, dabbling in photography and ceramics and sculpture. I have so enjoyed having her in Ivy history this year, and she's always an enthusiastic participant and learner, and then succeeds whenever I throw a challenge at her. I have so much confidence that Caitlin will go off into her future and do amazing things. Congratulations, Caitlin, for being the recipient of the American Studies Golden Hawk Award. And now for the honorees in World Studies. Haley Bay, John Babazette, Lily Campbell, Emma Kraft, Diane Dow, Kayla Delgado, Isabel Escuro, Tyler Leonard, Ann Nguyen, Andrew Oldag, Athena Tan, and Ruby Vicente. The four finalists in the area of world studies are Haley Bay, Emma Kraft, and Ann Nguyen. And the Golden Hawk winner is Ann Nguyen.
Anne Nguyen, congratulations on being this year's Golden Hawk winner in World Studies. Anne has been an incredible model United Nations delegate in her freshman and sophomore year, as well as bringing it each day to pre-IB Honors World History class. Anne was a lawyer in our Genghis Khan trial and is always willing to jump into any debate or class discussion that we have. She always completes her work with excellence and is a model student. In addition, Anne is co-founder of a nonprofit organization called Minds That Matter, trying to break the stigma about remaining silent about mental health. She plays the piano, club tennis, is a Girl Scout patrol leader, and plays varsity basketball at OV. Well done, Anne. Ladies and gentlemen, Tonight, we honor the hard work and achievements of our International Baccalaureate Full Diploma candidates, who took six IB courses over two years, as well as our International Baccalaureate scholars, who took at least three IB courses. International Baccalaureate is a highly regarded academic program offered at Ocean View High School, otherwise known as the IB program. And now the honorees for International Baccalaureate Diploma Program, IB Diploma candidates, James Bledsoe, Reginald DeSeo, Ethan Eisen, Serena Flood, Connor Huang Marsh, Jessica Ling, Trish Nguyen, Thais Ortega, Victoria Salcedo, Jarrett Spurlock, Angelina Tan, and Mai Vu. And now the honorees for International Baccalaureate Scholars, Dana Abaskal, Isabella Brandon, Elaine Krogan, Jaden Driggs, Victor Garibe, Maria Gomez, Jacqueline Guerrero, Min Lu, Daniel Medina, Diesel Merkel, Annika Murray, Casey Nguyen, Kelsey Schneider, Maxwell Tillmans, Parker Walpole, and Kevin Wong. And now the honorees in our Ideas program nominations. The honorees for Ideas are Izzy Moran, Paula Rodriguez, Tien Tran, Andy Vasquez, and Jade Villamil. The three finalists for our Ideas Program's Golden Hawk are Tien Tran, Andy Vasquez, and Jade Villamil. And the Golden Hawk winner is Jade Villamil. Jade, congratulations on receiving the Golden Hawk Award. Staff to students all agree you very much deserve this prestigious award. You have demonstrated all the learner profiles at OVHS. You clearly demonstrated you have an open mind to the topics discussed in class. You show caring and compassion to your fellow classmates, especially the ones that need extra support. And you are a risk taker and that you're very successful in algebra, which is a very challenging class. So from the ideas program to you, congratulations, Jade. And now we proudly present the honorees in English language arts. The honorees are Dana Abaskal, Braden Ackerman, Ashley Baldwin, Megan Baldwin, Paula Bledsoe, Isabella Brannon, Jackson Angler Carlson, Brooke Foreman, Ruby Garcia, Karen Gaspar, Christina Ho, Catalina Jacinto, Madison Kerr, Benjamin Linza, Caitlin Loom, Caitlin Nguyen, Tammy Nguyen. Brooklyn Nicholson, Thais Ortega, Reagan Preciado, Sofia Romero Green, Kelsey Schneider, Angelina Solis, Jarrett Spurlock, Angelina Tan, Kenny Tran, Megan Vo, Mai Vu, and Kevin Wong. The nine finalists in the area of language arts are Dana Abasco, Isabella Brannon, Caitlin Loom, Tammy Nguyen, Thais Ortega, Angelina Solis, Jared Spurlock, Angelina Tan, and Kevin Wong. English Language Arts awards two students with Golden Hawk medallions. And this year's Golden Hawk winners are Isabella Brannon and Caitlin Liu. Hi, my name is Christy Mastel, and I'm representing the English department for our Golden Hawks. And speaking of, I am going to introduce Bella Brannon as our English language arts Golden Hawk with a GPA of 4.7. Uh, she has also received nominations in the departments of mathematics, and she embodies what it means to work to build a better world. 
Bella was chosen for the award for language arts because of her constant exploration into the literary world, bringing in all sorts of connections through exploring literature on her own, as well as exploring deeply within the class. She brings such a variety of different experiences that always enhance the group discussion, and her writing ability is quite top-notch, as is her speech-making abilities. Bella is a student activist and works tirelessly to help others, adults and students alike, understand the democratic process. She has received recognition for much of her work, including eight gavels uh, for best speaker in JSA, as well as 10 MUN awards with four being for best delegate. Bella's experiences also include working with state and local politicians, including participating in campaigns for Spencer Hageman, Natalie Moser, and Harley Ruda. Bella serves the student population at OV with her work in Junior State of America, empowering students to raise their voices in the political process. She's worked on the Diversify Our Narrative campaign, which works to implement a diverse school curriculum that recognizes the many stories, contributions, and achievements of BIPOC. Uh, she has also worked on the Committee for the Empowerment Collective, which is an organization that helps youths understand and get involved in grassroots legislative efforts. Naturally, Bella plans to major in political science with a minor in digital humanities while attending US UCLA next fall. While she continues her education, she says that she's going to continue to be participating in OC politics as a supervisor. Bella attributes much of her success to her friend, Mai Vu. Mai pushes Bella to be the best version of herself while also helping her laugh along the way. So I just wanted to say congratulations, Bella. Caitlin is another one of our language arts golden hawks uh, with a GPA of 4.71. She's been nominated for uh, awards also in visual fine arts history, and she basically embodies what it means to share new ideas throughout um, all of her experiences. And that's one of the main reasons why we chose to give Caitlin our golden hawk uh, for the English department. She is, uh, she is well read but she doesn't kind of confine herself to one specific genre. She has many different interests and all of those interests start to feed back and create a deeper understanding of literature. And that level of understanding is why we recognize her as deserving of this golden hawk. Caitlin's interests and pursuits basically hit the trifecta of what it means to be an OV student using athletics, academics, and art as her vehicle for expression. She's a four-year veteran of the tennis team, a varsity tennis team, and she's currently number one singles player as well as team captain. On the academic side of things, she's been recognized for her engineering work and uh, through her internship at Boeing. Uh, and she's also received honors for her presentations on electrical engineering and computer science. Her hobby for ceramics has grown into true artistry, and it's even begun to be recognized in the wider art world, uh, as she's also won an award at the district's Creative Visions Art Show. I hope that she continues to develop that ability. Uh, Caitlin has been accepted into engineering track of CSULB's honors program, and she hopes to pursue her bachelor's in electrical engineering. And as a next step, she's hoping to pursue a master's in renewable energy uh, engineering. Caitlin says that her mom has been most influential in her success so far, and while mom can't really help with math homework as much anymore, she still looks to mom as a source of inspiration and help her to push the boundaries. Good job, Caitlin. Awesome job. Now let's meet our honorees in mathematics. The honorees are Destiny Aboskal, Isabella Brannon, Claire Dickens, Kalista Driggs, Isabella Skiro, Daniela Galvan, Edie Gantroff, Landon Gotchman, Christina Ho, Kirash Kianfar, Elizabeth King, Benjamin Linza, Ethan Mayfield, Anne Nguyen, Casey Nguyen, Caitlin Nguyen, Tammy Nguyen, Jenna Nimchik, Thais Ortega, Javier Reyes, Max Takis, Angelina Tan, Athena Tan, Mai Vu, Parker Walpole, Kevin Wong. The eight finalists in the area of mathematics are Isabella Brannon, Landon Gotchman, Kirash Kianfar, Benjamin Linza, Max Takis, Angelina Tan, Mai Vu, Parker Walpole, Mathematics has chosen for its Golden Hawk winner of 2021, Angelina Tan.
I first met Angelina Tan during her junior year. I was her pre-calculus honors teacher. And what I noticed first about Angelina is her ability to take abstract concepts and apply them in a real world setting. She was able to take that skill and in her International Baccalaureate Extended Essay, she was able to take a real world situation going on now with a pandemic and she took her calculus uh, knowledge and traced it all the way through history how calculus has developed uh, the medical world, the statistical world, and once again, that was just an, uh, another example of her taking her abstract concepts, applying it in a real world setting, and she really made that material her own. I believe her extended essay for the, uh, for the International Baccalaureate program was collegiate level work. Um, personally, myself, I had to do a lot of homework just to understand what she was writing, and I'm convinced that she understands what she was writing. Just the, the symbols and the notation alone uh, was takes a lot of uh, math ability to just to be able to articulate. Mr. Lin is her current AP Calculus teacher and he says this about her. Angelina has a calm and confident demeanor. She's an original and independent thinker and has an, a very healthy attitude and appreciation for learning. High words of praise from, from Mr. Lin. Angelina is has a 4.6 4.86 uh, GPA. So as you can tell, she's extremely well-rounded. I only got to see the math side of her. And of course, with the extended essay, was able to see her uh, articulation skills within her writing. She is, uh, even though she's very strong in science and math, some of her hobbies that she excels at is art, cooking, uh, sewing, all those things. So that's probably really balances out uh, her as a person. She is planning on getting a degree in biochemistry and pursue uh, the medical field or just go on to graduate school. And uh, very, very extremely proud of Angelina Tan. She is this year's Golden Hawk finalist and winner for mathematics. Congratulations, Angelina. Our next category is our OV Learner Profile. The aim of our OV Learner Profile is to build internationally minded people who recognize our common humanity, our shared guardianship of our planet, and help create a better and more peaceful world. For this category, we have three different subcategories, caring for others, new ideas, and working for a better world. And now the honorees for our first subcategory, caring for others. Claire Dickens, Jaden Driggs, Violet Vasquez, Kimberly Vasquez, and Mai Vu. The three finalists in the area of caring for others are Claire Dickens, Violet Vasquez, and Mai Vu. And the Golden Hawk winner is Mai Vu. I first met Mai during her sophomore year. Uh, I was her pre-calculus honors teacher. I am currently her AP statistics teacher, and I can go on and on about how great of an academic student she is in mathematics and a very well-rounded uh, student academically. However, this award is uh, not just about academics, it's about caring for others. And I can't think of another student who deserves this more. At the end of her sophomore year, she came to me and she asked me if I would be the advisor for the Key Club. And I rolled my eyes, to be honest, uh, not because of her, but I was already an advisor for a club and I didn't want to take on any more responsibility. But how can you say no to my VU? How can you say no to my VU? So I said, okay, I'll do this. And it's because of her that I was even willing to be an advisor for this club because I truly believe that she not only cared for the service acts that she was doing, but that she was caring for the people that she was serving and all the members in the Key Club. Uh, one for instance, uh, last year uh, I was a chaperone for the Key Club and we went to go help decorate the Rose Parade. So we went to some warehouse out in Fontana somewhere and it was cold and we were there, to, there till about midnight. It was extremely cold and there was a warehouse and there was 400 students from around Orange County there, key clubbers, people that were willing to uh, donate their time and the warehouse wasn't that big. So they were bringing in people in shifts to work on the floats. Well, most of our OSHA view kids were on the outside at like 11 o'clock at night, it's freezing cold, and they were bringing people in. I'll get to the story here. So 
Maivu, she's pacing around and she looks really, really concerned. And her main concern was, is that our Ocean View kids get the experience of serving, to, to, to know what it's like to go in there and to see the floats. And so it really made an impression on me that she not only cared about the service act, but she was also really concerned with our students having the experience and the joy of being part of such a great thing. So my vu, it's not just what she does, it's who she is that makes her so special. And I can't think of um, anyone more deserving of this. So congratulations, Mai. And now the honorees for the OV Learner New Ideas. Elaine Krogan, Jackson Engler Carlson, Michael Garcia, Christopher Herrera, and Caitlin Loom. The three finalists in the area of new ideas are Jackson Engler Carlson, Michael Garcia, and Caitlin Loom. And the Golden Hawk winner is Jackson Engler Carlson. I'm happy to present this year's Sharing New Ideas Golden Hawk Award to Jackson Engler Carlson. This award goes to students who embody the learner profile traits of inquiry, communication, knowledge, and thinking. Jackson is passionate about his work in Model United Nations, where he works with his fellow students to research, debate, and explore international relations and politics. He shows a lot of effort, determination, and curiosity in his classes. He has challenged himself with a variety of rigorous IB courses that demonstrate his commitment to learning about the world across a variety of subject areas, including science, English, history, psychology, math, and Spanish. Outside of the classroom, Jackson competes with the tennis team and is a well-rounded student who pursues active and creative hobbies in his spare time. His teachers have been impressed with his enthusiasm for knowledge and his engagement with school. He is a good representation of what it means to be a true OV learner. Congratulations, Jackson. And finally, the honorees for OV Learner Working for a Better World. Isabella Brannon, Lexi Dutton, Ariana Henke, Richie Pham, and Reagan Preciado. The three finalists in the area of Working for a Better World are Isabella Brannon, Ariana Henke, and Reagan Preciado. And the Golden Hawk winner is Isabella Brannon. Bella Brannon is a rock star when it comes to advocating for change. Ever since I met Bella, she has been working on helping local politicians get elected to office by volunteering on their campaigns. Bella is part of Empowerment Collective, a committee to help youth get involved in grassroots legislative efforts. She's part of our school district's student group, Diversify Our Narrative, formed to advocate for multicultural voices to be present in our curriculum. Bella has served as a Congressional Youth Advisory Board representative and as the Huntington Beach City Youth Advisory Board representative. She has been recognized as a Presidential Community Service winner, has received multiple awards for speaking in both Junior Student Achievement, JSA, and Model United Nations, MUN. In the classroom, Bella has taken all IB courses and is a stellar student. On top of all of this, Bella is a runner, and I often bump into her in running club for kids at Central Park or Sunset Beach. Bella will attend UCLA in the fall to study political science. Bella, I'm so proud of you, who you are, and how you are working for a better world. And now the honorees in program for English language learners. Denise Amador, Min Lee, Trung Lee, Samuel Reyes, and Tang Trung. The three finalists in the area of program for English language learners are Denise Amador, Trung Lee, and Samuel Reyes. And the Golden Hawk winner is Trung Lee. I'm happy to present this year's Pell Department Golden Hawk Award to Trung Lee. Pell stands for the Program for English Language Learners, and students in this program make up a large percentage of the Ocean View student population. Trung moved from Vietnam and has been at Ocean View since his junior year. He has consistently worked hard to earn good grades and has become more outgoing as a result of his time at Ocean View. His teachers appreciate the effort he puts into his studies and his participation in class. His effort has been rewarded with excellent grades and the respect of his teachers. Trung is also very creative and enjoys drawing, spending time with his family, and listening to live music. After high school, he plans to continue his studies and go to college. 
His friendly nature and love of learning made him a pleasure for all his teachers to know and teach, and we wish him the very best in his future endeavors. Congratulations, Chung. Science has two awards, one for biological science and one for physical science. The honorees in biological science are Lisbeth Alvarez, Megan Baldwin, Christina Ho, Madison Kerr, Jessica Ling, Daisy McCafferty, Tammy Nguyen, Sophia Romero Green, Victoria Salcedo, Jarrett Spurlock, Kenny Tran, Jaden Vibard. The four finalists in the area of biological science are Christina Ho, Victoria Salcedo, Jarrett Spurlock, and Kenny Tran. And the biological science Golden Hawk is awarded to Christina Ho. This year's recipient for the Golden Hawk Award for Biological Sciences, Christina Ho, has been an incredible student all year long. In fact, all four years long. I've been hearing about Christina since her ninth grade here at Ocean View High. Science teachers for all four years have had nothing but praises to say about her. It's not a secret that this past school year has been one of the strangest times of our lives and has definitely impacted the classrooms and students in unimaginable ways. Science has always been more than about just the learning. It has also been about the doing. And in so many ways, even in the midst of online learning, the students have been asked to do more than they usually would. This year's winner has gone above and beyond, always present, always engaging, always thinking, and always doing. Doing science online has not been an easy task. Truly demonstrating scientific knowledge, thinking, is not easily done. I don't know if I would have been able to do it. But this year's winner has been doing just that all year long, struggling, revising, thinking, and doing. It has been a true pleasure to work with this year's Golden Hawk Award for Biological Sciences, Christina Ho. Congratulations. And now the honorees in physical science are Destiny Aboskal, Jack Bush, Diane Dow, Claire Dickens, Kalista Driggs, Jacob George, Angel Miranda, Alan Nguyen, Caitlin Nguyen, Lisbeth Peralta, Reagan Preciado, Ethan Tom. The four finalists in the area of physical science are Jack Bush, Alan Nguyen, Caitlin Nguyen, and Reagan Preciado. And the Golden Hawk winner in physical science is Caitlin Nguyen. Hello everyone, my name is Ms. Privet and I am so very honored to be celebrating Ms. Caitlin Nguyen and her accomplishment of earning the Golden Hawk in physical sciences for her exemplary work in IB Environmental Systems and Societies and AP Physics. Ms. Caitlin is an exceptional student who challenges herself with rigorous courses, who exceeds her own high expectations, and who is a tenacious in her dedication to her academics. There are a million and one things to say about Caitlin Nguyen, the student, and I am sure she has heard them all. Caitlin has shown time and time again that she reaches for the stars and catches them, and will continue to do so long after her time here at Oceanview High School has ended. As a student at Oceanview High School, Caitlin has soared. During this time, Though I am honored to celebrate Caitlin the student, I am humbled and privileged to celebrate Caitlin as a person of integrity, of true grit, and of overwhelming kindness. She is extraordinary. As her IB Environmental Systems and Societies teacher, it has been my true honor in getting to listen and learn from her compassion for all people, her thoughtfulness of the world around her, and her determination to make this world a better place. She is a fountain of positivity overflowing and inspires those around her to practice each day the virtues of patience, of acceptance, of gentle strength, and of unwavering humanity. Congratulations on your award, Ms. Caitlin. May you continue to inspire those around you. And now the honorees in our special programs nomination. The honorees for special programs are Aiden Apodaca, Jackie Schmell, Sam Delgado, Caden Harnish, and Edgar Hernandez. The three finalists for our special programs Golden Hawk are Aiden Apodaca, Jackie Schmell, and Caden Harnish. And the Golden Hawk winner is Caden Harnish. The honorees in spirit leadership publicity are Victoria Candero, Kalista Driggs, Sienna Ferguson, Nayeli Flores Gamino, Kaylee Garcia, Ariana Hankey, Daisy McCafferty, Casey Nguyen, Carly Ortiz, Angelina Solis. 
The three finalists in the area of spirit, leadership, publicity are Sienna Ferguson, Daisy McCafferty, Casey Nguyen. And the Golden Hawk winner is Casey Nguyen. I have known Casey for a long time. She has been involved in so many of the things that happen on this campus, from volleyball to diving to cheer and ASB, Casey is a force to be reckoned with. If you look at her awards and accolades she has earned during her time here at Ocean View, you are impressed. Student of the Month, Scholar Athlete Awards, Cheer Captain, Golden Hawk nominee in mathematics for three years running, ASB president and future attendee of UC Berkeley to major in biology, minor in psychology, with plans to head to medical school after that. The thing is, if you spend any time with her, you don't feel the storm. She has the ability to make all work fun, to balance responsibility with joy. She is organized and kind, a great communicator, fair, and an expert in time management. Casey has been key in keeping the ship of ASB on course. Many schools have had a hard time keeping their ASBs together over this past year, and with Casey at the head, working in concert with her fellow executive board members, she has led this group of ASB leaders to do and be better. She is incredibly busy, but never lets her schedule get in the way of reaching out to those that need a kind word or good advice. I know I couldn't have done this year without you. I have no doubt that you will continue to lead with kindness and take this world by storm. Next are the nominees for career and technical education, which consists of photography, auto and auto engineering, and culinary arts. Here are the honorees. Anthony Bradley, Caleb Caldwell, Joseph Espinoza, Jeffrey Garcia, Tuquat Gallet, Alan Lopez, Dakota Metal Knowles, Monique Melgoza, Sarah Rizvi, and Thomas Wold. The three finalists in the area of career and technical education are Caleb Caldwell, Jeffrey Garcia, and Dakota Metal Knowles. And the Golden Hawk winner is Jeffrey Garcia. Greetings, Seahawks. Choosing this year's Golden Hawk winner was very difficult for me. Many of you have shown amazing automotive skills by working like a family these past few years. Many of you have helped build racing go-karts at Westminster, repair vehicles for teachers, fellow students, and your own personal rides. Some examples of your work performed here at OBHS include removing and replacing a full front suspension, air conditioning repair, diagnosing electrical faults, lowering a Miata, and so much more. So to all of my students, Thank you, for giving all, thank you for giving your all and for putting in the extra time needed to get the jobs done right. I appreciate all of you. This year's Golden Hawk winner has shown a wide variety of automotive skills in addition to the ones previously mentioned. These include numerous brake jobs, oil changes, body work, air conditioning clutch work, car washes, installing a custom license plate cover, and using lots of zip ties. In addition, our Golden Hawk is often sought out by classmates to join repair projects. In some cases, labs were postponed if this person was not able to make class. Earning their classmates respect by being a team player and thoughtful mechanic also allows me to know that in the world of work, this student will do well when it comes to coworkers and customers. In addition, utilizing good communication skills, our Golden Hawk will provide great customer service by asking follow-up questions and employing their irresistible charm. This wonderful charm comes from their ability to listen to a problem, research it, explain it in simple terms, and fix it correctly. These important traits combined with his commitment to excellence have shown me that Jeffrey Garcia is this year's Golden Hawk winner for current technical educations. Congratulations, Jeffrey. I wish you continued success in the pursuit of becoming an auto mechanic. Have a great day. OCView offers Chinese and Spanish language classes. The following are the honorees in world languages. Emma Kraft, Claire Dickens, Ethan Eisen, Sarah Garcia Saavedra, Victor Garibay, Magali Herrera, Jessica Ling, Ethan Mayfield, Christine Nguyen, Caitlin Nguyen, Tammy Nguyen, Anthony Paz, Angelique Rodriguez, Samantha Sarmiento, Jarrett Spurlock, Angelina Tan, and Daniel Vasilevko. And the eight finalists are Ethan Eisen, Jessica Ling, Christine Nguyen, Caitlin Nguyen, Tammy Nguyen, and Angelique Rodriguez, Samantha Sarmiento, and Jared Spurlock. And the Golden Hawk winners are Samantha Sarmiento and Jared Spurlock. 
Dedicated, honest, and hardworking are all adjectives that describe this year's Golden Hawk recipient in Spanish. Samantha Sarmiento, or Sammy as we call her in class, is in AP Spanish literature as a sophomore. Most students arrive at this level their junior or senior year. Sammy has shown her dedication to her language classes and has proven she can challenge herself by taking an AP course of this magnitude as a sophomore. Sammy's dedication to her studies is showcased through her straight A's. She has received all three semesters she has been with us here at Ocean View and is on track to receive straight A's this semester as well. She boasts a 4.1 GPA and I know she will continue to thrive here at Ocean View. Aside from doing well in her classes, Sammy is also very involved on campus. She has been involved in school senate and track and field for two years. She is also a student in the Business Academy. Throughout the years, she has received numerous awards for her academics, attendance, and volunteering in her community. She has dedicated six years to programs such as Scholars Hope and the Oakview Literacy Program. She credits Ms. Tammy at the Oakview Library as her inspiration for wanting to pursue a career in education and become a teacher. On a personal level, Sammy is a delight to have in class, asking questions, making connections with the material in class, and exuding a smile across her face that can be felt through the face masks. A los padres de Sammy, felicidades por tener una hija responsable y dedicada, que por seguro es un reflejo de ustedes como padres. Sammy, I wish you the best in the next two years of high school and beyond, and you know you can count on my support. Felicidades. Congratulations, Jared. Jared Spurlock has been an outstanding student since freshman, always driven to master in many different areas of study. Jared works hard in every single assignment in my class. Oftentimes, when he is done with Chinese assignment, he will study other subjects in my class. Never waste time, always reach for excellence. During the past four years, Jared always stay focused, poised, and driven. Jared gets along with everyone in class and is always patient and kind to other people. Despite of the pandemic in the past year, Jared has put forth an outstanding IB oral presentation. While many students' learning were disrupted by the pandemic, Jared continues to excel despite of the challenging online learning situation. When asked who influenced your life the most, Jared said his mother has profound influence on him. His mother encouraged him to work hard, to persevere, and to aim high for his education. After graduating from Ocean View High School, Jared will attend UCI and study for science. I'm honored and humbled to be Jared's teacher for the past four years. Best of luck to you, Jared. Our final award of the evening is the Principal's Award, which recognizes students who have been named a finalist in three or more categories. This award acknowledges a wide breadth of academic achievements. These students demonstrate dedication, desire, and academic excellence in the very disciplines at Ocean View High School. We recognize and applaud their accomplishments as the ultimate in academic excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, your Principal's Awards honorees are Isabella Brannon, Caitlin Loom, and Jared Spurlock. To speak about each of our honorees, we'd like to welcome back our Principal, Dr. Robert Rasmussen. Bella Brannon is the first recipient of the Principal's Award. Bella received three department nominations and an IB Scholar Golden Hawk. She was a finalist in mathematics and a winner in language arts and the OV Learner Profile Golden Hawk for Working for a Better World. In addition to maintaining a 4.7 GPA, Bella has also been actively involved in cross country, track, junior lifeguards, and steeplechase. She's the recipient of several academic awards, including the Presidential Community Service Award, eight Best Speaker Gavels for JSA, 10 MUN awards, including four Best Delegate Awards, and she's been a Congressional Youth Advisory Board representative, as well as a HB City Youth Advisory Board representative. Outside of school and community participation, Bella enjoys blasting Billy Joel while cruising down PCH. She also loves playing bass, working with local politics, and obsessively reading science fiction. 
After high school, Bella will be attending UCLA and plans to major in political science with a minor in digital humanities. Bella states that the individual who contributed the most to her success is her friend, Mai Vu. Bella states that Mai has pushed her to be her best, challenges her, and makes her laugh. Bella states that she feels extremely lucky to have Mai in her life as someone she adores and gets along with so well and has been by her side through everything in high school. Caitlin Lim is the second recipient of the Principal's Award. Caitlin received four department nominations, including finalists in the OV Learner Profile category, New Ideas, and winning the Golden Hawk Awards in Fine Arts Visual, History, American Studies, and Language Arts. Caitlin has maintained a 4.71 GPA while being involved in both swim and girls varsity tennis. Caitlin is currently number one singles and serves as the team's team captain. Caitlin has also been a recipient of several other honors and awards. Recently, she was recognized as one of two students whose art was selected in the district's Creative Visions Art Show, receiving a board member's award. Caitlin was also selected as the December Student of the, of the Month. Last summer, she was one of five students selected as a Boeing intern and was ranked fourth out of 60 high school interns. While serving as a Boeing intern, she received recognition as having the best individual presentation for electrical engineering and computer science. Caitlin's interest in engineering will continue beyond OV as she plans to attend Cal State Long Beach in the fall while majoring in electrical engineering. Her hope is that she'll be able to continue her work with Boeing or Lockheed Martin while getting her undergraduate degree. She would like to continue her education and earn a master's degree in renewable energy engineering. Caitlin credits her mother as one of, of those who's helped her to succeed. Caitlin describes her mother as very supportive and encouraging and has encouraged her to do what she wants to do throughout her life. Caitlin describes her mother's steadfast belief in her as being the driving force in her to push her to her own boundaries and to work and to achieve what she has accomplished. Jarrett Spurlock is the third and final recipient of the Principal's Award. Jarrett received four department nominations and was a finalist in Language Arts, Science Biological, and was a Golden Hawk recipient of Fine Arts Instrumental as well as World Languages. He also received a Golden Hawk for his IB Diploma uh, candidacy. Jarrett has maintained a 4.75 GPA while being actively involved in marching band for four years. Upon the completion of the current semester, Jarrett will have earned an amazing 300 total credits, well beyond the 220 required to graduate. When Jarrett isn't busy in school, he enjoys several hobbies, including watching movies and TV or playing video games with his friends. After high school, Jarrett plans to attend UCI and will major in mathematics or environmental science. Jarrett attributes his mother as the person he credits the most for his success. Jared describes his mother as a hardworking person that is also very kind. As a first-generation college-bound student in his family, Jared describes his parents as wanting him to pursue his post-secondary education. Jared describes his mother's hard work as a model for him to look up to and a source of his determination to be successful. Every one of these students has excelled in academics, athletics, music, service to the community, and more. I'm so very proud of each and every one of you and what you've given back to our school. I know that you will all be very successful in life no matter what path you choose. Please know you're always welcome back to Ocean View High School and you're always gonna be a Seahawk forever. I will miss you and I appreciate all of you. Thank you to everyone of our nominees this year. I know things are a bit different from what we were used to doing but that doesn't take away from all the hard work and your accomplishments. Don't ever forget, you can't spell love without OV. And now we would like to award our faculty staff scholarships. We drew four names from among all of tonight's Golden Hawk honorees. And here they are. Well, there you have them, ladies and gentlemen, Ocean View's best and brightest. Parents, I'm sure it seems they've grown up all too quickly. 
Yesterday, you're wondering if the diaper changing and Legos scattered all over the kitchen floor would ever come to an end. But tonight, in a span of what must seem like no more than a few moments, they stand here before you. Accomplished scholars, artists, craftsmen, and athletes. Thank you, and congratulations to all our Golden Hawk honorees.